Bonjour, good morning. I'm Fluxart, I'm Paul Pereira. I'm looking forward to telling you today how we can save the planet. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I've spent 34 years in industry. We have to act now to save this planet. Why? Because only about 20% of the world has actually taken flight. And we want to see people have the access and freedom that we've all seen. So Fluxart is about building a propulsion system that will save the planet. Just giving you a bit of an insight, this is our technology. We basically use, rather than copper, we use something called superconducting tape. And superconducting tape, as you can see, is very thin. And, and it means that the weight of the aircraft can reduce massively. And also, we can reduce the direct operating costs of the aircraft. So basically, by leveraging this into our motor, we can reduce the size of a motor on an aircraft as big as a single aisle aircraft by 75%. And once we do that, we can shrink even the airframe. And therefore, we can make the whole aircraft lighter. And how do we do this? Well, we leverage liquid hydrogen, liquid hydrogen being at minus 253 degrees. And at that temperature, this particular superconducting material has zero resistance. So we get an efficiency gain over any electric motor as well. So the technology builds a potential pathway for what we call true zero emissions. That means no CO2, and no non-CO2, no contrails, no NOx, no nothing, only water. So what we have in this um, solution, I can take you through in a few slides, but basically Fluxart is designed to build and scale and have already operated a small subscale demonstrator of this technology and it's working for five years without failure. There's that liquid hydrogen and it uses the superconducting motor that you're about to see. We have a team that's really based on aerospace history. Um, Rob Bray, my engineering director, was the chief architect of the A350, and he also designed and developed the initial concept of the A380. So he took those aircraft to certification. So we've got a team that's got a pedigree of getting things into the certified hands of the regulators, as well as the technologists that sit with me, uh, Min Zhang, who's the professor at uh, Strathclyde University, spinning out there as the CTO for my team. And my background, I've worked at Airbus and GKN, where I built the first concept of a fuel cell electric aircraft at scale, a one megawatt program called H2 Gear. I also worked at Rolls-Royce, and I have a, a, a cadre of great resources around me from an advice perspective. And we believe that the problem is being tackled by various other solutions. So if you've got batteries, you've got hybrid electric, and certainly we're gonna talk more about that in the panel in a second, but we believe that gaseous hydrogen has proven that hydrogen has the potential, but it's not good enough. To get to single aisle, where 66% of this 2,000 megatons that by 2050 we have to reduce, we really need to go to liquid hydrogen. And that's been confirmed by Embraer, by Airbus, and I think many others around this show. So we've taken advantage of that liquid hydrogen, and rather than combust it, which also can juice uh, CO2 uh, and NOx, we want to do something different. We want to use a fuel cell. And there are plenty of fuel cells available. So our solution is absolutely true zero emissions. It reduces the weight of the overall aircraft. It reduces the cost of operations and therefore increases the potential for airlines to make more profit. So it is an economic and ecological solution. So for that reason, we've built a, a pipeline and we're in the middle of a fundraise. We've already secured a, a number of funds, even as recently as two weeks ago from the oil and gas industry who now want to invest in us because they see this as being game-changing technology. They want to build green hydrogen for us. And we've actually won an award of the net biggest impact on net zero across many other technologies. They rewarded us a prize um, from the oil and gas industries to say, keep going. And they're also going to invest in us. Alongside that, we're hoping to be in an ATI program next year. We're kindly sponsored by the ATI this um, show to be here. So come and find us at the ATI stand. We're in Hall 2B. Um, we've got some other partners alongside us, some that you may know. We have a flight demonstrator with our partners in Britain Norman and the Cranfield Aerospace Solutions. We'll fly this aircraft in 2025. We're building a regional sized motor and that's gonna require a lot of capital, a lot of scale. And that's why we're here to try and get that interest. And we've had some really interesting conversations. And finally, and we don't wanna move fast, we wanna get the next single aisle to drive us to true zero emissions. So that's what Fluxart's about. And with that, uh, should you have any further questions, 
I'm here and on the panel in a few seconds. But just remember, there is a route to decarbonize aviation and Fluxart hopes to be part of it. Thank you for your attention.